He's really, really not a man. He's a coward. He's weak. He is that inferior that he is intimidated by women. And I'd love to be in a room with him. Real research and not just watching the verbal diarrhea that comes out of his mouth on YouTube. True. <laughs> this is what I expect you to do with your assignment. And there is a really, really, really good documentary on BBC. BBC. Wow. Fake news. Come on. Teacher forces kid to hate Andrew Tate. <laughs> Why am I clicking this? Guys, so a recording has just been released of a student from a school in the UK being emotionally manipulated by a teacher to hate Andrew Tate. If you didn't know already, Andrew has already had some issues with schools in the UK banning his name and whatnot since they're really trying to prevent the spread of his influence around schools. Anyways, I'll play the clip right now. I decided this weekend was I do not know enough information about this man. I am not informed enough about this person. Does anyone call him a man? Does anyone know him? Does anyone know him? Does anyone know him? Does anyone know him? Because he's not. He's really, really not a man. He's a coward. He's weak. He is that inferior that he is intimidated by women. And I'd love to be in a room with him. Because I tell you what, hey, you bring that sword out to me, it'll be the sword that kills you. So yeah, I spent this weekend getting to know who this person is. Damn. She sounds pretty fing based, actually. <laughs> I it's it's a bit awkward that she starts off with her um with like I don't I don't really know that man and then she like talks as if she knows him very well so I uh that's 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 not very credible but okay real research and not just watching the verbal diarrhea that comes out of his mouth on YouTube true <laughs> this is what I expect you to do with your assignment so I'm no, but the the sword was a metaphor, okay? The sword was a metaphor. She was talking about the he him him manipulating women, and she's like, well, if he pulls out that sword, that sword being the sword of mental like manipulation and and gymnastics, I will fight back with the with mental gymnastics, okay? She's like, I have a stronger, I I have a I have a stronger will um, and intelligence. Man's got big swords though. Well, if it's a physical sword, she probably should just run away. Yeah, I think we can agree on that. Monka has that face when the teacher pulls out her own sword. Yeah, I, dude, I, she's so fucking based. I like her already. Still linking it into work. The fact that this man is being idolized. Yes, yes, he has been. And there is a really, really, really good documentary on BBC. BBC. Wow, fake news. Come on. <laughs> Do you have a mother? Yes, I do. True. Big black cock. Fake news. Let's go. Do you love your mother? Of course, always. Would you do anything for her? Of course. So if your dad hit her around the head with a machete and told her to get in her place? Actually, that video was you... cut. No, no, no. That video was no, no. cut. This is him saying it. He says it out of his mouth. Yeah. Every man should have a sword to put his women in their place. Oliver, so if your dad held a sword to your mum, what are you going to do? I'll protect my mum. Of course you would. Of course you would. And that's what everybody should do. That is good. That Dude, that is f***ing based. She is presenting uh, this kid with the contradictions between this kid's values, which are protecting his mom, and the values that Tate is, um, is propagating, which are the misogyny and dominance of, of, uh, of the man over the woman. That is good. That, that is a very good argument. And there should not be in anybody's head... The only issue, I guess, is that she probably should. When he says there's context to the video, um, I would, I think, like, since you're a teacher, you actually have time to follow up on it, etc. Like, okay, you're saying it was taken out of context. Let's listen to the context. Let's listen to the full video, and then like deal with deal with that. I guess, though, obviously that puts you in an awkward place if that was your only like talking point and you uh and the context it was like obviously an edgy joke or or some shit like that but even then like an edgy joke you can talk about the you can still talk about the danger of uh edgy jokes or and, and stuff like that i don't know i i i, I like her <laughs> what can I say? do you know that do you know that video was cut out of context to make him look bad like the problem is if if the kids replying that video is cut out of context to make him look bad nothing you say about the comment will have value to him unless you um you can show that you've listened to the context and that the context doesn't make it better cuz like yeah then then none of your arguments work 
because it's out of context. That that that, that happens to me. Like I. I there are ed edgy people I like, and if you cut them out of context, they sound really bad. But if you put it back in context, you understand that oh wait, that's actually part of a part of something. Uh, that that's that that wasn't what they were actually saying. You realize when you watch other things and you do your research, he says it multiple times, multiple times. This is honestly wild to me. We can see here that a student is providing logic in his arguments against a teacher. Facts and logic seem to be willing to. <laughs> okay, this is just like some Tate bait video, anyways. Oh god, look at my suggestions now. And Ben Shapiro unravels the destruction of men in the West.